right, and uh, now let's uh, go to the next section. So this is on uh, computer drawn graphs of quadric surfaces. So the idea of using traces to draw surface is employed in three dimensional graphing software for computers, basically the one I've been uh, playing around with. Uh, in most such software, traces in the vertical planes x equals k and y equals k are drawn for equally spaced values of k, and parts of the graph are eliminated using hidden line removal. And uh, here I've decided to link to my earlier video that uh, went over hidden line uh, removal and so on in uh, 3D uh, software. So you can watch that video. So going further, so table one uh, shows computer uh, computer drawn graphs of the six basic types of quadric surfaces in standard form. And all surfaces are symmetric with, with respect to the z-axis. If if a quadric uh, is or if a quadric surface yeah if a quadric surface is symmetric about a different axis its equations yeah its equation changes accordingly so just shift things around and so on so it's symmetric about the other axis so this is what we have x y and z uh, and there's the ellipsoid and the equation is going to be x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared plus z squared equals it is z squared divided by c squared equals one and all traces are ellipses. So notice there's ellipses on this uh, this axis, and then going across that way as well, and then also horizontally as well. If a equals is yeah, so if a equals b equals c, the ellipsoid is a sphere, and an elliptic uh, paraboloid. So it looks like that's an, an ellipse and a uh, um, yeah, it's an ellipse on the horizontal, and then vertically it's a paraboloid. So z equals z divided by c equals x squared divided by a squared plus y squared equals b squared, and horizontal traces are ellipses. And then vertical traces are parabolas. And the variable raised to the first power indicates the axis of the paraboloid. And this one here, z is z is to the first power, so that's the axis. Going for the hyperbolic paraboloid, and it's that saddle one right there. It looks like that. There is all the traces on it. So again, this is how 3D uh, drawing is usually made. So z uh, over c equals x squared uh, divided by a squared minus. This one's a plus, this one's a minus y squared divided by b squared. The horizontal traces are hyperbolas. So the horizontal one goes like this, and then on the other side. And then vertical traces are parabolas. So vertically, you get a hyperbola, I mean a parabola there, and parabola on uh, any side you look at. Yeah, so if you cut it like this, you're going to have, um, let's see, what kind of plane this? So if you, so you have parabolas, actually, yeah, you have parabolas going down like this way. And if you look at it this way, you're going to have parabolas going up. Like that, and then you have the hyperbolas going this way and that way. And then uh, the case where c is less than zero is illustrated. Yeah, so that's interesting. So c is less than zero is negative there. All right. So then, yeah. So then you're going to have the y is positive when you move it over, and so on. And then the x will be negative. All right. Going further, uh, surface. Uh, the next one is the cone. So you have a cone like uh, looks like this, and then you have the equation z squared over c squared. Uh, equals x squared divided by a squared plus y squared over b squared, and so on. And the difference is that this would be, uh, yeah, both powers. This is going to be a z is going to be a power, but a c a squared as well, just for uh, make it similar to that. And then horizontal traces are ellipses, and yes, the horizontal is going to get an ellipse. Vertical uh, traces in the planes x equals k and y equals k are hyperbolas, and yeah, these are vertical ones right here. And the x equals k and y equals k. if k is not equal to zero. Yeah, so if you have vertical uh, uh, planes like this, this is going to be a hyperbola cutting it across there and there, there and there, or you can have it, uh, the other side cutting it this way. You can also have uh, there and there hyperbola. But if uh, if if your if k is equal to zero, so that you're looking at literally this point there or this cut open there, um, yeah. So if, uh, then the uh, then you want to get a hyperbola, but you'll get pairs of lines if uh, if k equals to one. So in other words. It's going to go perfectly down like this. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be a perfect line across there. So it's uh, epic stuff. And then uh, going for this, a so hyperboloid of one sheet. So I'm going to go over uh, x squared over a squared plus y squared uh, uh, divided by b squared. And then you have a minus, one minus there. Z squared divided by c squared equals one. And horizontal traces are ellipses. So the horizontal is always yeah, typically ellipse. Vertical traces are the hyperbolas. You can see them there and at the bottom. The axis of symmetry corresponds to the variable whose uh, coefficient, coefficient is negative. So this is z. So then that's going to be the axis. This a hyperboloid of one sheet. Now here's an interesting one. This is a hyperboloid of two sheets. This one is two. 
And uh, yeah, this hyperboloid of two sheets, uh, this equation is uh, negative x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared plus z squared over c squared equals to one. Compare that with the uh, one sheet one. This one has um, basically two positives and one negative. This one has two negatives and one positive. So that's interesting. And then horizontal traces in z equals to k are ellipses if k is greater than c or k is less than negative c. Yeah, so that's interesting. So you're going to ellipse on the top and bottom if it's, uh, yeah, the absolute value is, yeah, or yeah, it's greater than C uh, of K. So vertical traces are hyperbola. So there's the vertical ones up and down this way and this way and so on. All right. And uh, the two minus signs indicate two sheets. Interesting. And this one's one minus sign indicates one sheet. Two is two and then one. So hyperboloid one sheet, hyperboloid of two sheets. Epic stuff.